uh, in ISRO we are looking at how to develop key space technologies which can benefit the nation as well as which can benefit the business and economy. Uh, one of them of course is uh, the potential to go to space, stay there for longer years, longer days, then conduct experiments and then space borne economy will develop. We know that if you go to, go to a space station, you have great opportunity to conduct research, say it in the area, domain of materials, you have a possibility to work on medicines, synthesis or make uh, molecules which could not be built uh, on earth in the gravity field or potential manufacturing of uh, you know, organs which you could actually build in uh, zero gravity environment and, and even do bio research which are specifically important for space. Uh, even mining of uh, various uh, or, you know, ob objects in space. All these are potential commercial possibilities where private players can get involved. Now for that we need to start work on various programs in the future. Uh, we are looking at how we can take our, uh, than the regular work which we do for uh, communication, remote sensing and other launch vehicle capability, look into core technology capability that will empower all this to happen. And this, I am sure with the successful landing on the moon, uh, we may take up uh, may more missions to moon in the coming days. Possibility of you know, having uh, uh, human beings go traveling to other planets are cannot be ruled out. I think all these are potential possibilities which we need to look at how the technologies can be developed at a low cost and also how it can become beneficial. And the commercial models of this has to evolve. I think uh, in the days to come, which will definitely happen. And uh, everybody is very sure that India can do that today with the type of demonstration that we have done. And we are also looking at scientific uh, uh, you know, expansion in space sector, especially looking at uh, other planets like the Mo Venus, we are looking at Mars, and we are looking at exosolar planets. And uh, we also have a strong uh, pool of scientific talents who looks at science, scientific research as a primary goal of this work. I think all these are to be empowered by the space technology work which we are doing. So I believe that all of this, uh, the p potential of private players are definitely there. And in the new policy, it doesn't de bar anybody from working on domains which are, there is no, no special domains that uh, private co players cannot work. I think it is all open to everybody. So it allows you to contribute towards scientific equipments manufacturing, building them at uh, substantially low cost or innovative research. Uh, that you want to do, for example, you have possibilities to look at debris, space debris as a huge business opportunity. You look at space situational awareness as another uh, major opportunity. We also look at strategic space as a potential utilization of capability. So there is so much of opportunity available in the high technology domain uh, in addition to the regular, uh, the space technology domains which we classically know as the communication, earth observation and PND services.